Hi everyone and welcome back. It is me, Yvonne. Let us continue on our journey of eating superfoods together. With that said, I've already pre-cut my large avocado into its four quarters. Remember, avocado is what I choose. It's my nutrient-dense superfood with a bunch of monounsaturated fatty acids. You know, it's got a lot of lipids, vitamin E. Overall, pretty much well-balanced food that you could have in like one single setting. It's about, depending on the size of your avocado, mine's the large, like I said. Um, it's got pretty much close to, it hovers around 400 calories or something like that. You know, the smaller, the less, the more, the jumbo, the more calories you get. But, you know, it's just dependent on your body's metabolism. Mine likes to eat a large. That's kind of where I max out at. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. Remember, every day we try to invest into the health of our body. Why? Because our body will always give us the maximum return. We want to be healthy and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and keep on investing into our body. So we're going to eat, eat, eat. It's, um, this is one of my avocados that has been sitting around waiting to ripen. I could probably use like another day to be softer, you know, more to be riper. However, it was the only avocado that I had left, so pulled it out of the refrigerator. Yeah, sometimes I don't want them to sit out of the refrigerator for so long because they're ripe. I'm trying to control the ways in which they ripen. I guess if you leave them out, they'll tend to ripen faster. However, they taste, the taste of them ripening in a warmer temperature is completely different than when you pull them out of the refrigerator. And they've ripened in the refrigerator. Slower process, of course, you know. But it's the taste is different between them. So since I wanted a fresher avocado, and it's you know with the ripening phase to be kind of well balanced, I decided it would be best to just have it in the refrigerator for this particular set that I had bought. The next set, depending on, you know, weather conditions outside, will determine if I leave them outside on the, you know, countertop or put them in the refrigerator. So since my house is a little warmer, I've got to be conscientious of, you know, the temperature that is ripening that. But it's still a nutrient dense food, so we eat away. Remember, our food is, you know, it's not processed, therefore, it's living, so it's continuing in its own metabolism states. So we gotta be. Conscientious of how we store it. But since it still has a little bit more to go, you can touch it and it's not really super ripe, mushy, squishy, whichever term you want to use to describe it. Just when you touch it, yeah, it's throwing some lipids out, you know, it's getting on me, but it's not like with your more advanced ripened avocados where you touch it and you pretty much automatically just indent the avocado and remove all the substance when you pull away. Let's just eat away. Almost done.
Yeah. So remember, avocados are more filling food because it's got more lipids. Remember, lipids are fats. Fats have a larger, they give off more energy in the metabolism during the metabolic processes compared to your other foods like carbs and proteins. Almost done. Just finished getting our super food. We'll be done for a day. Remember to add more in different superfoods throughout the course of the day. Always trying to invest into the health of our body. With that said, we are done for today. I will see y'all back tomorrow so we can continue on our journey of eating superfoods together. All right, thanks. Bye.